the impression I got as I was going through medical school was, okay, if I learn this chapter and that chapter and that chapter, when I'm finished medical school, uh, I will know the cause of all diseases. It took me a few years to realize that, hang on a minute, 50% of the patients that come in through the door, walk out through the door without a diagnosis. These ideas that stress caused ulcers or alcohol caused ulcers. There was, everybody had a, a paper and not really too much data and it would just get entrenched and people just believed it and never bothered to check up on it. People just were, had this uh, impression the stomach is sterile. You cannot grow things out of gastric juice. So therefore there must be nothing there, right? you really had to find the experimental animal and we couldn't. But I said, well, this is such an important experiment for me and for my patients that I can't risk handing it over to someone who knows nothing about it to make a decision on, on it. I do, and I'll do it on myself. The white cells is infected, bacteria everywhere, lots of things have happened. And so I had objective evidence which nobody could argue with. Each time you get a new idea, a new hypothesis, you, you have to be grounded in science and evidence base. That's where the new discoveries come from.